probably really busy. I don't want a dead sheep on my conscience. <laughs> That's all. I want to know what's going on. Well, I've spoken to the doctors. And there's been a bit of shilly-shallying, you know, on the one hand this, on the other hand that. But, basically, they've said if this place is ready, then maybe Jackson can come home for Christmas. Well, that's great. I've spoken to the occupational therapist. She's going to get me some costings. Excellent. Well, yeah, it would be, if the councillor pulled their finger out. I've been down there and I've lost count of how many calls I've made, but all I seem to get is, it's in hand, Ms Rhodes. Must be very intimidating. It's a big job. I haven't got time to be intimidated. Hazel. But last night... Last night, he had a bit of a wobble. And you know what? He's really good at keeping up appearances, my boy, but I reckon that he feels... that he feels that he's... he's on the edge of a full-on panic. I'm so sorry. If I could donate an organ, I'd do it in a heartbeat. If I could swap places with him, I'd do it, no question. I can't, Paddy. All I can do is get my boy out of that hospital and bring him home. So I don't care how long it's going to take or how much it's going to cost. Because I can't let him down, can I? I just can't. I know a thing or two about benefits, and the thing is, you've got to keep pushing. Well, we'll go to the top and find someone that can make a decision. I know. I know all that. I mean, don't worry about me. Once I get going, I'm like a steamroller. Yeah, I know, Hazel, but I mean... I, still... I don't want to hear anything negative. A lesser woman than me would have been driven insane by that council. Mm. I'm not going to let them beat me. Quite right. But still, it is a big list. That's my boy's Christmas list you've got there. I mean, it may not be his most exciting one ever, but it's definitely the most important. And Santa's going to deliver. <laughs>